Hello there everybody, it is Challenge Friday. My name is James, and for you today, I am going to attempt to juggle three apples while eating one of them, while hopefully maybe telling you guys a story. So, without further ado, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Try number one. I got a little bite. One. Nope. Kind of two. I love apples. So once upon a time, there was a magical land, and in that land, there lived a dinosaur. And that dinosaur was one of the kindest and most sincere creatures in the entire land. And he loved to adventure. And he loved his friends, even if they didn't agree with him all the time. Oh man, I haven't dropped this one yet, that's good. And so are apples. In fact, the dinosaur loved apples. He loved them so much that one day, when all of the apples started to disappear, he decided he had to go on an adventure to find out where they were all going. And along the adventure, he met many new friends. Friends who would stick by him no matter what he believed. Man, this is hard, but delicious. And so, the dinosaur continued on his quest to find out where all the apples had gone. And he met many new friends along the way, and they all adventured together. I need to take another bite. I'm always scared to take another bite. And... There we go. It's really hard, folks. Really hard. And eventually, the dinosaur and his companions came across a bridge. And you know how the stories go about how there's always a troll under the bridge. Well, this time, that wasn't the case. This time, no, no, you know what? That was the case. Nobody likes trolls, especially the ones here on the internet. Although, I haven't met a troll in real life. I wonder what kind of trolls they would be. Who does that? Who, who knows these things? And the troll was evil like all trolls, when the dinosaur and his friends were confronted with three questions. And so, ah, these of my apple just fell off. Hold on. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what I just did, but it looks delicious. And the first question, what is your name? Everyone just kind of sat there for a second and stared at the dinosaur. Oh, I'm the dinosaur, which is kind of like the doctor, just with a bunch of different letters after the duh sound. And the troll said, fair enough! And what of your companions? And uh, the dinosaur said, oh, well, these are my friends. But he couldn't remember their names because he had just met them. The dinosaur was very bad with names. Look how far I've gotten. Look at all that. So close. Kind of. Not really at all. And the troll said, well, fair enough. Now for your second question. What is it that you are looking for? And the dinosaur, knowing exactly what he was looking for, but not what he wanted, said, well, I am looking for the apples. And the troll said, oh, hey, I like apples. And the dinosaur's like, yeah? You want to come with us? And he's like, no, I'm a troll. I can't help you, for my goal is to impede progress. And the dinosaur said, fair enough. And the troll was like, did you just copy what I said? And the dinosaur was like, uh-uh. Nope, I'm just, I'm saying words. And the troll's like, okay. Well, I like your answer, for I do like apples. And the dinosaur said, awesome. And so it was time for the final question. And the troll said, do you have any grapes? And the dinosaur said, uh, no, all we have is our friendship. And the troll said, well, that's unfortunate, because I really wanted some grapes. Sorry for wasting all of your time. And he let them pass. Now, the dinosaur and his friends traveled for many, many years down the road called Internet. Eventually, they found a map. Yeah, there we go. Everyone likes maps. Maps help us guide our paths. And eventually, they found a map. Ugh, I need more apple. It's hard because they start to stick to your hands from the juice after a while. There we go. That was a big bite. Look at that. And so they eventually came across a map, which they purchased from a, uh, a tree. There we go. They purchased a map from a tree. And it was a magical tree grown out of the roots of the ancient apple people. So they found a map, which led them to this place. And in this place, there was a thing. And in that thing, uh, rested an apple and the dinosaur went up and he said hello there mr. Apple and the apple didn't say anything because apples can't talk and so there stood the dinosaur and all his friends and the dinosaur went up and he touched the apple and the apple apparated the dinosaur and all of his friends to a magical fairyland in which all of the apples had vanished to and the dinosaur was like whoa and all of his friends were like yeah we found all the apples and so they gathered up the apples and they returned them back to the normal land of sunshine and trolls and rainbows and they planted lots of apple trees and that is the real story of johnny appleseed who was obviously a dinosaur so obviously i've decided not to quit the internet yet and obviously 
I am still here, and I was very angsty yesterday, as you all saw. Sorry I yelled at you, I was very... I need to talk to people. And I did. I talked to one of the best people I know. And uh, she just reminded me of all the stuff that I had learned and come to conclusions with about the past couple weeks. And she just reminded me of all that kind of stuff. And it really helped me get my head back on straight and re-realize a lot of things, which is good. I'm in a much better place now. And I actually talked to her about all of it. And I was feeling much better before I went back and actually edited all the footage and put it together for a video. And I actually considered not putting it up. But I also think that it was very good that I did because it's always important to express your opinions and that was my opinion at the time even if i have defeated myself in that um thanks to this person and yeah so that's what's up with me i love apples i'm feeling better it's all good people we're all good there's a good collaboration between respecting someone's opinions and disagreeing with them they can go hand in hand i just feel like the respect part wasn't really there and it was all unintentional from other people because other people and this proves it this proves the point that i was making a couple weeks ago that other people don't like hurting other people intentionally and it's all by accident and that's just what happened here folks so it's all good i've received a very long list of apologies and people saying hey am i doing this because i don't mean to and that only proves my point so i will see you all on Monday, and we will see what I talk about then. One more day with James, yeah! I hope this was challenging enough because, it, frankly, it was very hard. Goodbye.